Big news from SpaceX and their Falcon 9 rocket. They have done something very, very impressive. Yesterday they launched a rocket. Let's first take a look at video of the launch itself. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have liftoff of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is clear the tower. So clearly, the Falcon 9 rocket taking off successfully. The real question is, could it land upright? This is something SpaceX has been working on for a long time. They, uh, numerous times, did not successfully land a rocket. But finally, Lewis, it has happened, and we have video of the SpaceX rocket coming back down and landing upright. Incredible video. Take a look at this. People very, very excited, as you can see there. And as big as this is for SpaceX, it's not the first time that a vertical takeoff rocket has landed upright after launching into space. Jeff Bezos's uh, private spaceflight company, Blue Origin, announced they landed a rocket post-launch. But this is a far more complex rocket. This is a multi-stage rocket. It's designed to go higher and faster. And this is so huge because right now when we send rockets into space, the rocket part of it that is then boosting some kind of capsule or who knows what could be anything is either destroyed or it, uh, you know, just breaks, it falls and it, it, it falls back to the ocean and it's no longer usable, etc. This is so also, huge. Occasionally, occasionally it becomes parts of the, the rocket will become space debris. Yes. And yeah, that is something we'd like to avoid. Now we can completely change the game on rocket using rockets to get into space which may not even be the best thing going forward we're already thinking of other ideas but the fuel is only 180th of the total cost of the falcon 9 right so of the 16 million dollars that it costs to fuel and build one of these only two hundred thousand dollars is the fuel so if you can get the rocket back and use parts of it again you are drastically reducing reducing the cost of each of these launches and this opens up financially uh, so many new options. So th there's it's it's hard to overstate the importance of this other than to say in the future we may not use rockets like this at all. But for the time being we do. And thus this is absolutely huge. And I would expect nothing less from Elon Musk. Um, and he's working on great things. The Hyperloop is still a possibility. And he's just it seems like everything he touches uh, becomes incredibly successful. Yes, although recently Tesla, which full disclosure I own some shares of, did have a less than ideal reliability survey or something like that. But still, I think long term, a lot of the projects he's involved in now will do very, very well.